Hi there, Delroy the Spark here again. Uh, I've got an interesting little job that I'm going to go and look at. It's a, a distillery where they brew gin. Um, I've done a bit of work there before, um, running a few circuits for them. Uh, but now they're shutting down and they, I think he wants everything disqualified, he wants everything disconnected. It's an interesting place because the earthing in here is mad. It's, you know, everything's got to be earthed and because of um, it's right sterile, sterile um, area, a lot of metal work. And I think with all the chemicals they use, they've got these big cylinders, copper cylinders. Uh, anyway, hopefully I can film it and show you. Okay, so I'm on my way to there now. Speak to you soon. Yeah, guys, this is the place. It's on the railway arch. But um, when you go in now, I go through there. That's the switch room over there. And you go in here. Yeah, they're shutting down. There's loads of stuff in here when I um, first come in here. And um, you walk through. See, they're all... Everything's all dismantled, packed up, ready to go. That's it there. Look at them gas, them cylinders here, whatever that is. And I was telling you about the earth in. This was where they used to do the brewing. And um, those cylinders, those other, what was those big brass cylinders, what were they? The, the uh... The brass. Yeah, the big, them big, they were big ones, weren't they? No, we only ever had Oh, right, that one there, yeah, those. Yeah. That's, a, that's what we call our alembic. It's just a name. Oh, yeah. And as, as, as talking about mentioning the earthing, everything had to be proper earth, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because... Solid earthing is here. Yeah, because of all the... Uh, and you can see where I, where I took these uh, containers out here. Yeah. I just chopped the earth off. Oh, right, okay, and yeah. The, that was, the, there was another one earth. Yeah, I remember I put them in. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah me and my son. Is it, do you get upset when you see your No, 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 no. And that, another earth bar here. And you had to be really over the top with the earth in here. That's because of all the cylinders and the chemicals in it. it could yeah, could, the, could, the spirit could, is, uh, is highly explosive and the vapours that come off of it. Yeah, and any slight spark could have... Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. So. These, these down here are um, gas sensors. Oh, okay. They cost about a thousand pounds each, something like that. Really? And but if there's any, of course, ethanol gas is lighter than air, so it, it will just slowly uh, uh, build up at ground level. Yeah. So if that detects ethanol, rings an alarm, so you can you can get out. Oh, it's a dangerous thing. Because it's an explosive gas. Yeah. So you want all these um, cables disconnected. Okay, show us the rest of it, what you were saying. So we need the power to be terminated. Oh yeah, because I, oh yeah, because I, uh, I ran a cable in, didn't I, yeah. So these, uh, this is the emergency battery. Yeah. So, battery backup, yeah. Yeah, so once we disconnect all of the power, yeah. it'll all end up just being fed from this, so we need to disconnect to this as well. Right, okay. Um, and I've sold that. you sold what? This, this, okay. this, the control for this. Oh yeah, yeah. So I've sold, sold that. Sold it all, okay. So um, if I, I don't quite know what needs to be disconnected, but, right. but the only thing I, I still want to be able to use the lighting. You just here. want the lighting? Yeah. Everything else can go. Everything else can go. Right, okay. Disconnect that whole, the power coming in. What was that. this for? This Vent oh, ventilation, heating and that's ventilation. That's the HVAC. Heat, yeah. Heat, heating, ventilation, air yeah. conditioning. So yeah. this, this could all be disconnected as well. Right, okay. So you just want them disconnected, that's all. Leave everything in place, the yeah. cables. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, it, yes. The, the guys who were dismantling, they said to me they'd feel happier if they could see the cable actually taken out what inside here yeah so whatever the, I, I mean, oh so do you want them you want them disconnected and these actually taken out the, so you've got just this the, the whatever whatever cable is the one bringing power in mm -hmm. take it actually take just, what it out. just 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 the one that's feeding the power yeah yeah take that out so all the other cables can stay in yeah but it's the one that's bringing the main power in yeah 
Okay, yeah, yeah, we can do that, yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, let's have a look in the switch room. Yeah. So that's where I would generally start from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. And then... Um, Okay. So that's yeah. It's a little kitchen area. All right, and there's the switch room. Right. You can see down there. Just the earth in there. There's some yeah, there's an SPD here, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Yep, it's all good. It's the main head under there. All right, good, good, good. Yeah, uh, that might turn out to be an interesting job, isn't it? Um, uh, disconnecting the, the supply to all what he wants disconnected. Um, tell you something, um, <clears throat> I had to put in a new armoured. It was quite a long run. I had been about 20 meters for a new machine they were going to use. So I had to run it on that existing tray with the other armors. And I, when I looked at the job, I thought, ah, oh, that's simple. Just run armored round, just got a tight, no drilling, nothing. And so I, but when I started it, oh my days, it was aggravation. I had to get old Marley, my eldest son, he come round and he was good. He knows all about running armors on tray and that. Um, there's little tricks that you got to know when you're doing it that I didn't know. He come around, he schooled me, boy. It was good. Really good. It's impressed with old Marley. He knows that. And he does it nice and neat. The thing about him, when he runs stuff, he does it nice and neat. And he's methodical, you know. Really good. Um, not as simple as I thought. And then when I, I had to drill an hole through the wall, um, plasterboard wall, to pass the armour through to get it into the switch room. Where the other switch room where the fuse, the other fuse board is, and I had to use this um, special sealant. Um, uh, it's um, something four because I think it can hold back fire for four hours, so I couldn't just use any sealant. That was a special one that I had to use. So any time I worked it, it was always interesting because of the sort of um, regulations and stuff you had to do, you had to abide by when you're doing this type of work. So um, hopefully when I come back to uh, disconnect, sounds simple, but who knows? <laughs> it sounds simple. So hopefully when I come back to disconnect, you can um, give me a hand. Um, <laughs> give me a hand. <laughs> hopefully when I come back, I can get to film it so you can see it. Yeah, cool. Next time.